In this portion of the tutorial, we are going to um, create an LAS file from the point cloud that we exported in the last section. In the last part, we exported a, an E57 file. So we're going to open that in a program called uh, Cloud Compare, and then we're going to export it as an LAS file. So let's jump over into Cloud Compare, and I'll show you uh, how to do that. We select File, Open, and then find the E57 file that we created in the last step and select open. Cloud Compare is a free open source piece of software that can run on any computer, although it's not very good with memory, so you might want to um, uh, run this on a very capable computer. Um, so you can see, now that we're opening it in Cloud Compare, you can see for the first time how many points we have. You can see there's 591 million points um, and change. Uh, that's a, that's a quite a few points for the particular model we're doing for just this basement. Um, and we can adjust that in Cloud Compare. One of the things that we're going to do in Cloud Compare is to decimate the, the uh, cloud again. So uh, in Cloud Compare, you can do some uh, some editing of the cloud and you can um, reduce the, the number of points easily. This can take a while and I'm going to just l speed this up until it finishes opening. Okay, uh, Cloud Compare has finished reading the E57 file, but it's still not showing up. It, it, there's a, a little bit of time where it's still thinking, and it needs to, um, uh, before we see the scan positions over here on the left. So you just have to be patient. So there it shows up, but you can see it's in black and white. Um, this is a 3D window. We can actually grab our scan and move it around in here. Um, to uh, get this into color, we click on the scan itself, and you'll see in the properties of the scan that uh, it is being colored by scalar field. And so one thing we do first is to drop that scalar field down and choose RGB instead. And <clears throat> that will eventually show in color. There we go. Now you can see up in the upper left there are two things here. This is our scan, and under this file structure there are there's a bunch of extra data. And this includes the imagery and some other stuff for Pottery, we do not need any of this, so we can just go ahead and delete that, and we'll make sure uh, nothing strange gets into our file. Um, so now we have a scan, and you can see down here it's showing us 591 million points. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, reduce the number of points. Um, the The number of points that you want really depends on the model. If this is a if this is an entire church and grounds um, like Santa Croce with multiple buildings, you may want 500 million points, um, and and that's uh, completely okay. Um, but if but it's hard to tell when you're exporting how many points you're going to get. So if you end up with way too many, this is a good place to um, to decimate the cloud. So with the cloud selected, we choose this icon up here with the little uh, red and blue points. This is our subsample point cloud button. And there are a couple options for how you subsample this. We can do a space subsampling like we did before, or we can do a random sampling. And this we can just set how many points we want. And so for this one, I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to say, let's make 300 million points. Hmm. 300 million points. There we go. That's about half. 
And so uh, when we have that set up, 300 million points, you click OK. And what it's going to do is make a second cloud. So one thing that's important is you need to have enough memory to do this. Um, because it's going to make two clouds. If, if the computer starts running weird um, and, and not, um, not responding, uh, you should check the task manager and see how much memory is left on the computer because uh, cloud compare is a real memory hog and it doesn't do well with uh, um, very, very large data sets. So you can see this is happening pretty quickly. Okay, so that just finished. Uh, it took about five minutes to do that. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is delete the uh, um, the larger cloud. So now you can see we've got two clouds, the subsampled one and the original. The subsampled one is 300 million points just like we requested. So we can go up to the top one and hit the delete key. And now we just have a, a 300 million point model and we're going to export that as an LAS file which is the format that uh, Poetry really likes. So to export this, we go up to the little disk icon, and we choose from the drop-down uh, LAS Cloud. And we give it a name. We can choose the same name. Hit Save. Choose Highest Resolution. and then it will write out an LAS file with that name. This again will take some time. Okay, that finished and it took about 15 minutes. So that, that is a fairly lengthy step. Uh, so now we have an LAS file and the next step will be to use um, uh, that in Pawtree.